Good morning and welcome back to another studio vlog. If you don't know me, my name is Oku and I'm an illustrator from the UK and this week I am on the convention crunch. I have to get a bunch of stock made because I'm going to London Film and Comic Con Winter next weekend and I, as always, in true fashion, I've left it to the last minute. And I have a bunch of stuff to do so I'm going to bring you along with me and show you how I make my stickers at home and exactly what I'm doing this week and I'm making sticker sheets, die cut stickers and a bunch of other things as well like bookmarks. Um, so yeah, let's get going! So on Friday I've left my desk in a bit of a mess but what I was doing is redoing some of my packaging, printing a bunch of that, um, for my sticker packs and I also was packaging a bunch of sticker packs ready to put the like toppers staple those on and um, so those are kind of ready but I do need to finish designing some of this packaging but I figured sticker sheets take a while to cut on my silhouette so what I might do is start printing some of the sticker sheets get them cutting and then continue with this in between cutting sticker sheets because they do take a while I also need to order more of these because I do not have enough left. I've got about 28 left and I think I need like 40 more. So it's so annoying, I'm so close to having enough but it's fine, I'm just gonna order some more. Um, yes, so let's do that. So I'm trying a new sticker paper as well for my sticker sheets. I'm trying the Koala Inkjet sticker paper matte and it's actually a little bit cheaper than my current paper and I think I like it more from what I've heard from other people. Um, or I think I will like it more is what I mean. <laughs> but, oh, well, let's be careful with the knife, shall we? You got it? Yeah, okay, there we go. Right. Oh my god, I'm struggling to get this out of the box. Come out, please. Okay, we got it. We got that. There's a nice thick water stick of paper, so that's cool. Also, you can print on both sides. So this side most definitely feels like the backing. Um, but you can actually print on the backing if you want to as well, which is quite cool. Gonna double check because last time I started with a new stick paper, I printed on the wrong side of it straight away. Oh yeah, no, okay, I was wrong straight away. So with this paper, the it's actually kind of hard to tell. Yeah. Okay. Let's try printing on it. I also actually bought a couple new um, cutting mats, so I bought the light tack one because I want to try and cut out some like shaped bookmarks and things on card and then just the usual one that I use because mine were completely messed up and I've been using them for ages now so it was time to get a new one. Not that exciting but it's going to be very helpful to me. <laughs> So I just did a test because I haven't used a stick of paper before and the settings for Kiss Cut seem to be lovely. Uh, 
Um, okay, no, never mind. That has actually cut through the whole paper. So let's try another setting with slightly lower depth, maybe. My other sticker paper is definitely on the thicker side, so it makes sense that this might work like this. mat is very sticky because it's new which is a bit of a problem yeah i don't think the die cut was slightly not deep enough as well okay so i won't be using this one so let's test the cut on this oh my god that comes off so nice Okay, this sticker paper is so much nicer for kiss cut than my old one. I love that. It's also very nice and sticky. That makes me very happy. Although, hold up. I have now got... Oh, that's probably from refilling the printer. I was like, where have I got pink ink on me from? No, we're fine. It's actually not from this. <laughs> um, Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I'm very happy with this paper. But I do need to... The mat is too sticky. I might try the light tack mat actually. Maybe we try that one instead. Or what I normally do is I literally just like use my sleeve on the mat and try and unsticky it a bit just because when they're new they are so sticky. I will see what I can do but at least I know that the cut is lovely and the sticky paper feels really nice. So I'm very happy about that. But yeah this one's a bit of a fail. <laughs> Okay, I still need to neaten this up a bit because obviously we've ripped on the edges, but that's not actually the sticker sheet, so that's fine. And it's done really well. I really like it. I'm just going to have to like trim the edges. But yay! <laughs> Success. And as soon as I've done a few on here, it'll start getting less sticky and there'll be less issues like this. This is the why I didn't want to get a new mat, but I needed one, so... Dealing with it, dealing with it. So I just wanted to give an update. 
I have printed a huge wad of, and cut, huge wad of sticky sheets and I am not done yet. I am about to set the cuts going but I thought I'd just film a little talky bit before I set it going. I have also been drawing in between cutting sheets so let me show you what I've done. So I had to draw another EV because I think like I said I'm splitting out my sticky sheets into smaller packs and my EV lotions are going to be split into two packs. So I wanted a different pose of EV in each one and then four EV lotions in each one. So I drew this really cute little EV, which I'm really happy with. So I think I'm going to work on this more on stream tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted the sketch done so that that is sorted. And I also haven't shown you the cute little cowboys that I've been drawing. And this one is the most done. I'm so happy, it's Tara. On a, on a horse with a lasso. It's so cute. I, I'm so happy with it. Uh, and this is going to be a little sticker sheet for Patreon this month. So I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Need to carry on working on it. Um, but that is the reward for my November Patreon. But yeah, that's what I've been up to.
open it on this. Hello, I am just popping in to end the vlog here. It appears I forgot to end the video once again, as normal. Uh, so, I'm coming in to end it here, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was a bit of a mixture of stock prepping and packing, but I hope you liked it. I feel like it was very chilled. Uh, next week is going to be absolute chaos because it is my London Film and Comic Con vlog. I have just come back from the convention and let me tell you, it was busy. So look forward to next week's vlog with the convention but if you can't wait to see a convention vlog i will link my summer london film and comic con vlog that you can check out here uh, so yeah i will see you in the next one have a good week bye